question. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the info button to improve UX. So let me bring up the Power BI report again that I was going to show you. I'll put that there just so I can see everyone in the chat. I'll put everyone back there as well. Um, so here's my Google Analytics report. So this is connected to my website. Every day it's refreshing and telling me how many hits on the website. Um, there's a lot of information here at the top, you know, page views, unique views, organic search, new site visitors. You know, what is the difference between all of these? What do all these slices mean? And so what I'm going to show you today to do is how you can build a information button. So if I click on my information button, what this is actually doing is displaying an image on top of my Power BI report. And in this particular image, it's showing you what all these mean. So this is the count of free clicks to site, and the line is showing the trend. Um, this button will close it. This allows me to the home page. So I can put a whole heap of visual information to help people navigate, use the Power BI report, and I can click it on and off using buttons. So this is just the button that I'm clicking on and off. So I can go to the next page here, um, and I could have the same look, obviously, the information button, but this is a different page. And here I can have different information put up here. So this one's showing hours per day, et cetera. So, um, this is a Power BI report that is connected to um, Google Analytics. Uh, if you are interested in, and you want something set up for your own organization, just tell me because I've, I've already built it. Happy to, to help you um, implement something like this for your organization as well. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to demo this little button here. So to build this, we're going to need PowerPoint and we're going to need Power BI. So here's my PowerPoint. I'll drop that in there. I'll bring up a Power BI report. So let's let's do it on this demo report that I was building before. Um, what I want is, because we've built a parameter here, what I want to show people is this parameter is going to change this axis so that they understand what's going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print screen. So depending on what print screen you use, I'm using Snagit here. I'm going to select background that I want my chart to be on. And then what I'm going to do is copy that into PowerPoint. So here we are in PowerPoint. And I've got the background there. So I'll get rid of all that. And what I want is a, a box or maybe an arrow to show that this changes this. So insert a shape. Um, or maybe I can even get a double-sided arrow. So let's get a double-sided arrow. I'm going to say this, change this, maybe something like that. Make it orange, and then just increase the weight so you can actually see it. That orange doesn't stand out too well. Maybe I'll make that a bit darker, something like that. Yep. And then I'll insert text box to say change the axis. Give that box a bit of a background so we can see that. So shape fill, outline, drop it right there. OK, so we could add a lot of things here. You could add, obviously, whatever. I'll just add a few other random boxes so you can you can see them all. So here I'll say close. Fill that, so I might put that there. And, you know, we could have arrows. So I'll just drop a few here and there so you can see. So I'll put that there. And I'll put this one here. Select filter. OK, excellent. So this is going to be an image in our Power BI report. I don't want the Power BI report in here, so I'll delete that. And I'll get rid of all these boxes. So I just want all the, all the boxes and things that I've put. Last thing I'm going to do is just create a bit of a shade. So I'm just going to get a box, the whole width of the report here. 
Go to the format and let's go to the format options, format shape. And I don't want it blue, I might just go like a light orange with the transparency so that it's not the whole thing. Something like that. Maybe a different color, maybe a gray. Okay. So I have a few elements on my Power BI report. What I want to do is I want to take this image and put it in my Power BI report to be able to be turned on and off with a button. Now, unfortunately, you can't go file, export, change, change file type. So this is usually how I would get a background image and save it as a PNG file. Uh, when I do this, it doesn't keep the transparency. So to keep the transparency, I actually have to click and select everything. So click and select everything, file, save as a picture. And when I do it this way, it keeps the transparency for some reason. So I'll call this background PNG file save. Okay, part one done. So we'll jump back into Power BI. Now I'm going to import this picture. So insert this image background. Okay, it's a little bit small. Just increase its size like this. And that. So a little bit. Once I've made, made it the full size, you can see this has popped up and now this is here. So what we want to be able to do is turn it off and on when required. So to do that, we're going to need an info button. So I'm here on the insert buttons, take an info button, put this over here. And to get the button to do something, we need to create a bookmark. So if I go in the view, I'm in the view ribbon, I need bookmarks. I also need selection panes. So here, if, I, if you haven't used the selection pane before, every item is in your Power BI report and you can turn it on and off. So what I want to do is I want to turn the image on and off. And you can see when I click the little eye, it's on and it's off. So when I click it off, I want to add this as a bookmark and I'll just call this bookmark off. And then I turn it on and I'm just going to call this one on. And so now I have my bookmarks, which is just all it's doing is turning an image on and off. So I can get rid of all of that. And now when I select the button, I assign to the button the action of on. So here, button, action, the type, it's the bookmark. The bookmark I want is on. And what I'll need to do for the image is I can also assign the image and action. Action, image, bookmark. This one will be off. So just remember when you're in Power BI Desktop to get bookmarks to work, you have to hold the control button. So holding the control button, I select the info button and it's gone. And then I put it back, select and it's on. So holding control, I can turn it on and I can turn it off. And this is a really good way to improve your UX because now if there's a lot of things happening, uh, how would anyone ever know that this controlled here? Um, they can select the information button and it says if you want to change the axis, select the parameter with the arrow like so. So I've been using this quite a lot, especially when there's a lot of the content on the page um, and you want to be able to let the user see what everything is actually doing. So any questions about that little demo there? All good, pretty straightforward. All right, excellent. So in terms of our session today, um, that brings us to the end of the session. Um, so just a reminder, please do reach out if you're interested in the Power BI training for government. It's on at the end of the month. We do have a few spots 
left. Uh, if you're interested in Power BI development like that Google Analytics page, uh, if you'd like something similar to that, please do let me know. And how do I use Power BI in my organization? Is it set up for self-service? How do I manage the tenant? How do I manage workspaces? All that type of stuff. Please do reach out more than happy to help you on your Power BI journey. So if there's, there's no more questions, I'll let you all go. Thanks everyone for joining us. Hopefully I will see you next quarter um, for another exciting session of Power BI for Government Community of Practice. See you everyone.